Hello, Jess Too Good here. Today I'm taking a look at the Lego Hidden Inside magazine from October slash November 2019. This was only released in European countries. This is actually the German version. And this does include one minifigure, which is Jack. Nothing exclusive, but I thought it would be cool to take a look at the minifigure, take a look at the magazine as a big Lego Hidden Inside fan. So here is the foil pack of Jack and this actually has a pretty interesting artwork at the back of this alive Spencer. And it could even be just the preliminary design of Spencer. And he has ears at the side, which is something that stood out to me. But opening this up, and all the pieces. There's nothing exclusive with this minifigure. And that's probably for the best because this has such a limited release. These magazines in general are just kind of meant to get new fans of the theme and, and introduce people to the theme. That's why they include some pretty common figures. I mean, this figure is relatively common. Not that he appeared in like a cheap poly bag or anything, but he appeared in a lot of Lego Hidden Side sets from 2019 with this specific torso print with this hood hat combo, even in 2020 using it, uh, the leg printing as well. And of course that one by two of this phone. Other than that though, his face print, Nothing too special either, which does have an alternate facial expression. So if you look at the back, he looks a lot more ticked off. And the build for the selfie stick, I don't think really works. It's like an illegal connection where it just kind of grafts onto that one part there. That's not a pole connection, so it's going to slip out a lot. And it has, I don't know, I think they should have done a better job. Or heck, all you have to do is take out this part and put the camera onto the pole itself. I mean, I don't know if that's a legal connection. I think it is, but it's definitely more secure than it is with that fork part going into that handle that isn't a pole connection to the left. Either way, let's take a closer look at the magazine, even if it's in German and I don't understand German. The intro there has Parker and Jack, and actually wait, going back to front and over here, they do have that preliminary picture of Spencer. Or maybe that's just the look of Spencer I still haven't seen the Hidden Inside show. Don't kill me in the comments. I do like how they're imitating YouTube here. <laughs> Hashtag Volkul, whatever the heck that means. <laughs> Heftiger hoodie. I love how it's like we got uh, an English word and then a German word. In the comments, if you speak German, we'll translate some of this for me, but... I don't think you could translate this entire story here. Though I love Lego comic books. So this is basically the natural evolution of something like the Lego Club magazine where they used to have all these awesome comic books. The illustration, everything looks great there. Seems like they also have a Batman magazine now in Europe with a Joker minifigure. Got some character bios. Add for an app. Or the app. More... Fantastic artwork with the comic book there. A little maze. And these are the posters that they give. This one seems to be a little thing with Jack. I'm trying to see where the second half of that poster is. Oh, this is a pretty darn cool poster. I think this was in the back of the instructions if I wasn't mistaken. And that's the second half of that poster where it says Jack and Spencer. Over here, we have an ad for Ninjago. Das Experiment. I hope I said that right. <laughs> and we have some more bios of the characters. I mean, they put a lot of effort into the comic because it's, it's like a couple pages long. I mean, Lego Club would have like, what, two to three pages, maybe four. They even have an ad for the sets at the end. And it shows that the next magazine has uh, this Pizza Guy version. Oh, wait, is that number two? Okay. Oh shoot, did it. Oh wait, wait, I, I just ordered that one online because I, I got three and four. I was, I was just making sure. Okay, so I need to get that one in the mail. 
And it seems like a little ad for SpongeBob. It's just interesting seeing a German ad for SpongeBob. But that is it for the first issue of Lego Hidden Inside Magazine. Wish I could read German because I would have went into those comic books, but it was great looking at the artwork at least. And that minifigure, well, nothing special, is just a cute inclusion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more of these Hidden Inside Magazine reviews. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.